Hey guys, welcome to Testing Academy. My name is Pramod, and welcome to the series. Uh, this is the part six where we will basically learn how to integrate Selenium plus Java plus Jenkins plus GitHub. Right. So basically, right now, let me show you what exactly we are talking about. So we have a automation framework that we have created in the part five. Right. So if you have followed up the previous tutorial, we have created part one, part two, part three, and part four. So basically, we have followed the five-step process to create an automation framework, especially with Selenium and Java. Right. So right now, this is a six step. What we are doing is that we are basically uh, making our product uh, project that we have created. Basically, we'll create a repo around it and we'll basically use that repo and run it with a scheduled job in a Jenkins. Right. So I'm going to give you about a couple of concepts like what is Jenkins, how you can run it, how to create a repo in this Selenium framework, and running it and basically generating your alert report along with the Jenkins, right? So I hope you will learn something new in this video. And if you haven't watched the previous video, I will highly recommend to watch it because we are going to learn a lot, so a lot. So let's get started. All right. Awesome, guys. So uh, as we have discussed, right? So what we need is that. Yeah. So let me pull up my draw. Right. So uh, what exactly is a Jenkins? And uh, so right now, as you know, uh, we have already our framework ready, right? So Jenkins is basically, if we talk about right, it's an open source automation server, right? So it basically help you to schedule your job, build a job, test a job, right? So anything that you want to do uh, in a simple manner, if you know, uh, Jenkins is basically providing you the continuous integration. It basically, uh, so uh, suppose you have a particular Spring application in Java, right? So you can build that application, you can test it out, you can also deploy that application, right? So all the build process lifecycle steps that you have seen, we can do that do with this automation server, which is Jenkins, right? And plus the point here is that Jenkins is free and it's an open source. That's why probably it is the most used CI platform right now. And if you are a software tester who's basically uh, right now working as a software developer or software tester, you have to know about the Jenkins, right? So just this is. Uh, what we talk, we can say about it. Right? It's it can schedule your job. It you can communicate with the job, right? Uh, you can basically achieve the CI in that case, right? And plus to add to that, uh, so Jenkins also support plugins, right? So that's where it, uh, and it has more than uh, like a thousand plus plugins, so which basically allow you to provide CI platform, right? So in a nutshell, for example, you have suppose this Git, GitHub repository you provided to Jenkins, right? And Jenkins will now build your project, compile it, test it, and basically can deploy it to production also. So that's uh, that's what exactly it is doing. So Jenkins here is basically acting as a full uh, CI environment for your repo that you have, right? So that's what you can do. All right. So uh, how do we install Jenkins? So it's very straightforward. And uh, if I can show you right now, so you can go to the Jenkins.io and click on this download button. Right. And uh, depending upon the OS that you use. So right now people prefer to use with the Docker environment. But right now I am using with the Mac. So Mac, I can install it. And for Mac, it's very straightforward. You just need to download or use a simple command, which is called as brew install. And after that, you can use the brew to start a Jenkins. You can use uh, brew services start and to stop it. You can use brew services stop. OK, so if you are on Windows, uh, the process is pretty much always uh, straightforward. You can just uh, click on the windows and you can, I think you can download it and run as a jar, right? So I think you can download it and run. And when you are done with it, it will basically open a server automation server at the localhost 8080, right? So let me show you uh, how you can do it with Mac. So open the Mac and you can use this command, right? To start it, right? So we are going to come here and start it. Right. So if you see, if you go to localhost 8080, right, you will see Jenkins is installed. Jenkins is ready, right? So uh, when you will be installing it, like for first time, you will see a couple of steps. And uh, I would recommend just uh, go with the default setting and click next, next, next and create a username and password. So by default, username and password will be admin, admin in this case. So right now our Jenkins is getting started, right? So right now I have used by default admin, admin, right? And uh, this Jenkins I'm using, uh, like a oh, couple of projects. So I have already created lots of projects in this case. So I think you will, when you launch for the first time, you will see empty, right? But uh, right now I have already like created a couple of projects like my API automation framework, my Cypress framework. So Selenium project is already run. So I can show you right now, like how it looks like, right? So that's what we are also doing. So you can see alert report is already generated. You can look around for the alert report also. So we have two test cases that we are 
uh, make it like this and running and these two test cases you can see these report like as well as like that those test cases pass and all right so that you can see reports also along with it so we are going to do this we are basically create the we are going to create this job in a simple manner right now and whatever the framework that we had in this uh, for example this framework we are going to do uh, create this application so that this can fetch the branch and basically execute it right so let's do one thing uh, let's come back to the jenkins now and let's go to the mind map first and create so right so before installing the jenkins guys make sure you have installed jdk or jre in your because because jenkins eventually it's a java application right so it require java runtime so make sure if you are uh, a developer i will recommend to install jdk if you are a normal user like uh, then you can definitely go with the java runtime only okay so how does the architecture of jenkins works so here is an interesting concept right jenkins uh, can work as a master slave so for example there are two two other machines that you want right as added to the jenkins so right now what you can do is that uh, so let me pull up my this right so uh, this is so this can be your master so right now suppose this mac i am running as a master so this will be your mac right and uh, this can be your windows server right this can be your linux server right so suppose you want to run or build on windows so you can directly pass this information to the this slave right and also if you want to do it for linux you can pass it to slave also right so in a nutshell uh, jenkins mostly work with the master slave concept where there's a, there's a single machine who is acting as a master and other other machines are basically connected as a slave so to connect a slave it's very straightforward i can show you how you can do that also right so generally when you see there's a yeah so you can go to create item nodes manage jenkins manage node create item and add the details of your node in this case and so if for example if you are adding windows you can add the path root directory what is a host you can add the ip credentials if it is username and password then uh, basically you can uh, add a slave similarly you can do that for the uh, linux search also so let's jump back to the uh, job going to create the freestyle job right for example so basically in this freestyle job we are basically adding a project uh, a selenium project adding a git repository executing with using the maven command generating the lr report that's what we are doing so start and stop uh, we have already sta started our jenkins and you can stop the jenkins also by using the changing by using the stop command and you can also use the restart command right as well as uh, there is another way uh, also for example you can do local host 8080 and re restart also so that's also if you click yes it will again do the restart okay it's a very straightforward scheduling a job uh, we'll gonna learn how you can do that triggering as well as parameterization as well as adding it right so let's do one thing let's uh, copy this thing so basically let me show you how you can create a new job so click on the new item right and now you can create a freestyle project so freestyle project is nothing but a certain steps that you can perform in the jenkins right so suppose i want to basically do uh, run my selenium selenium maven project right so i'll say uh, selenium pro maven run project so i'll select the freestyle project so it, after that you can also select the maven project as well as pipelines so pipelines uh, i have to exp means this is again little advanced for this uh, tutorial uh, we can go with freestyle project right and we can have multi configuration project also as well as github and all right so you can call copy the uh, configuration from other uh, jobs also but right now we just want to create a freestyle job since we are doing a selenium Gen jenkins and Git github integration so it's very straightforward right so first of all uh, what i am expecting is that uh, you have already for example this is the folder right so make sure this is already added so let's go to this thing right and let's go to the directory so, so we can let's do copy copy the copy path right i'm using intellij for this one guys so make sure so this is it so i am in the directory right and if you so i think i have already created a git directory for it right no for this one is no git is created right so what you can do is that you can basically let me show you right so go to your github account right 
and uh, what we will do is that basically we will basically create a new direct a new repository so let's suppose this is the direct form demo right and let's create right and this will show you that okay uh, if it is a new repository you can do the step if it is existing one you can do the step this steps right so uh, what we are doing here is that uh, so in the directory where the project you have this project right so we have already the project we can initialize it and uh, now we'll basically add everything right so basically you can use dot command in that case right and it basically telling us to commit it so you can use first commit right and uh, you can say the branch is main right and you can just add as a repository right so remote origin we have added and now you have to push it right so now it will ask you the username password so we'll basically enter the username password so give me one second i'll just enter username password right so i have entered the username password and it if you see it has already told that okay we have entered and you can see here everything is pushed to the github repository it's a public repository with the pom.xml everything is included here now what we need the url stpps url for it so it's a public repo a repository so that's why we don't need use any kind of username and password in this case right so uh, let's do one thing uh, let's come back to our jenkins so what is the description so i want to give it as a demo run of maven selenium framework with test ng and lor right yes and here it's uh, we'll say basically source code management we're going to say that it's a github repository and suppose uh, suppose uh, you have it's a private repository or something like this you can add the credentials here for example you just have to click add and you can add the credentials for example here like username and password add your username and password here in this case and you will shown it will shown as this uh, username and password in that case right so we don't require right now it's a public repository that's why now here the branch is main so make sure guys you change it because right now github has by default changed the name of the branch as a main so we have a main branch right now and this is the build trigger so one more thing that you can do is that uh, you can also add a parameterized build right so what do you mean by this is that for example uh, we want to give the name of suppose we want to give the name of this right so we can basically give the name here and enter name so this is just a string uh, which can we can use somewhere else also so basically i mean to say that uh, suppose this job want to take some parameters so suppose uh, by externally you want to give the branch of this for example you want to give the branch of here this one right so how you can give the branch so you can use for example which branch i want to run so you can say branch and here instead of main so let's say let's say descript default value will be main in this case right and i want to use it here so which branch i want to use it like dollar and like something like this so now this branch will come from here and by default the main will be branch right main right so build trigger i want to build it uh, so you can uh, do a trigger build for example if you uh, you can create a token here and uh, for example let's say abc right so if you uh, use this url and if you hit this url like localhost 8080 slash job slash with the abc and this job this uh, job will start automatically right so what we want is that generally we want to periodically right so periodically you can use corn tab for this right to schedule your job so how you can schedule your job for example uh, if you say star 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 right so at every minute like every minute on monday so you can play around with this and they have already given you like couple of things like how you can do it. for example this is this will be your per hour right so if i enter the it will be it so it will run on monday 30 november like 4 45 and after that again it will run on the same day 4 45 so that you can play around like me how you want it to do it periodically so we don't want right now periodically build environment right so this is important and uh, we don't want to provide any kind of environment so here if it is a node project you can provide the node here that with version of node that you can provide so you can have multiple node versions also right so we need to add a build step so build step we can add that invoke the top level maven targets right so here we need to give the maven right so our maven 
version right so where this is coming by default it's it will not come so let me show you how you can do that so you can go to your manage jenkins right and in your uh, global tool configuration you make sure that maven is installed so you have a git installed you have maven installations right so maven by default is 3.6 i have already added so if you are not seeing it you just click add maven and add it okay so no i'm not gonna share save right now so i'll just leave it here as well as make sure you have added all the necessary plugins right so for example what do you mean by this is you can go to manage plugins and make sure that uh, default plugins are already added right so when you install it default all the default plugins are automatically added but that's you have to check it out sometimes right right so you have added maven and what is the goal so we want clean the project first compile and test that's how we run it right mvn clean compile test and the post build this is important uh, we just need a lore report right so this is the folder that we already uh, always create a lore results whenever our test case runs so this is how you can run this test by default i have shown you right so you can use mvn clean compile test right so it will basically clean and uh, run the compilation step and after that it will test so test will basically run these two test cases Makes sense, right? Yes. Okay, and we don't want to do anything else. Let's save it. And let's do one thing, build with parameters. So right now you can, so if you see, this is a parameterized build where you can enter the chain, the branch also. So right now we are using main, so that's it. So again, it will start it. So let's see if we are able to run it or not. Go to console output, right? And if you see it, it has successfully able to copy the branch right and right now if you see it's already started running it and i think our test case is also start to run yeah so right now we are running the project by using maven now so it will basically do the login so let's see so the first test case is basically login second step will be again logging in and verifying the dashboard yeah so that's also done right and after that it will basically generate the report so it's basically doing the report and all and you, you see we have finished so go to this and you will see a lot report right now right so it is saying that three test cases are done go to suites right here you will see the as well as the attachment also right so that's how you can basically integrate your jenkins github and selenium right i hope that makes sense right so now what you can do is that basically you can play around with this like you can have your source code basically you can add more parameter if you want for example if you want to like send to someone right what you can do in the post build section you can add an email notification also right so which so if you want to send the report right so in probably in the next video or probably in the jenkins for tester uh, video we are going to learn more about the how you can send proper emails to the right but right now what you, what you can do is that you can directly send the url of this job as well as just send the uh, send the hello this link right so that they can see the latest report what's going on in this case right so this was it so in the part six what we have learned is that whatever the project that we have done till now in the part five we have basically added to the jenkins we have had created our LR report in this case and we have added to the github that's all right so i hope you have learned something new in this guide uh, i thought and uh, do let me know if you have never if you have liked this video and make sure to subscribe if you are not uh, we are going to start a cybers for 30 days of cybers as well as couple of uh, api testing tutorials more about it so do let me know how you feel about it and thanks a lot for watching till now i'll see you in the next video bye